Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Mr. Garcia here back with another instructional video. And today we are going to be talking about rounding. How to round near numbers to the nearest whole number, nearest uh, tenth, hundreds, ones, place, you name it, we'll be rounding it today. Now you may see problems like these. And with these type of problems, you can follow three easy steps to round anytime, anywhere, any problem that you may face. All right, let's get into it now. All right, so in your book, it may tell you to say something like round to the nearest whole number. Now, that's all great and all, but what I find that some students don't even know what, what is the whole number? Students often say, whole number, what's that? I only know one, two, three, and four, and fives. That's not what it was, a whole number. So if you don't know what a whole number is, let me help you out here and first explain what is a whole number, okay? A whole number is just a regular number, okay? And the way I like to help you find whole numbers in a number like this is, do you see this decimal right here? I like to build it, draw a little man out of him like this. And, and this is decimal man. I like to call him decimal man. Let's put some muscles on him. There we go. He's got some muscles. And Decimal Man, he likes to separate the whole numbers from the non-whole numbers. You gotta keep them separated. Okay, so anything on this side of Decimal Man is a whole number, and anything on this side of Decimal Man is a non-whole number, all right? So this guy is right here, he's separating them all, and he's saying, all right, I need all the pretty uh, whole numbers on this side and all the ugly non-whole numbers on this side. See? All the triads and the ugly women on this side and all the fine women on this side right now. This is Decimal Man, and now, once you build a little man you can see, okay, everything on this side, these are whole numbers, perfect. These are not whole numbers, okay? If you want to think of it like money, these are whole numbers, $1 bill, $5 bills, you know, these are like dollar bills, these are like your cents. 10 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, if you want to think about it like money, okay? All right, so now that we understand we're gonna round this to the nearest whole number, let's do our step one. All right, so your step one is to identify the number being rounded. And you want to underline that number, okay? So step one, identify the number being rounded and underline it. So we know that we're going to round to the nearest whole number. And what Decimal Man told us that this guy is the whole number. So let's underline him. Whoop. Bam. Okay, that's our step one. It's done. Nice. All right. Now your step two. Your step two is you're going to draw an arrow to its neighbor on the right. All right. You want to knock on his door. We were wondering if we can borrow a cup of brown sugar. Draw an arrow to the neighbor on the right. Boom, okay? And now we're gonna check him out, all right? We knocked on his door, he's gonna open up his door, and we're gonna see if he is five or more. If he's five or more, we're gonna add one more to our whole number, okay? You have often always hear that little saying, five or more, add one more to the score type of thing, okay? So if he's five or more, we're going to add him here, just one. But if he's four or less, we're just going to let him rest and make everything a zero, okay? Five or more, add one more. Four or less, just chill out and make everything a zero. All right, so that's step two. So let's take a look. I have a four. Now, thankfully, back in kindergarten and you were learning a baby, maybe even before kindergarten, preschool, you learned the number four, and you know that Four is before five. So four or less, we're going to let them rest. And so now everything else becomes a zero. So all this becomes a zero. So it's just our new number is going to be rounded to the nearest whole number is three bucks. Okay. So rounding $3 here and we're rounding to the nearest whole number. $3.45 is closer to $3 on a number line. $3.45 is closer to $3 than it is closer to $4. So we're going to round it closer to $3. All right. We have a new number being rounded right here. And this is our um, 45.67 or $45.67 or however you want to read this. Um, and we are going to round this to the nearest whole number. Now, again, if you don't know where the whole number is, here is Decimal Man here. Draw them out. 
Have him separate the whole numbers from the non-whole numbers. You gotta keep them separated. And so now I know that 45 is the whole number that we are looking for. Let's underline it. That's our step one. Underline the number being rounded. Perfect. All right, so now we're looking to round 45 to the nearest whole number. Are we gonna round it to 46 or are we gonna round it to 44? Which one is it closer to? Let's find out. Our step two, draw an arrow to the neighbor on his right. All right. Now, if this guy is five or more, you're gonna add one more. If it's four or less, we're just gonna let it rest and everything else will become a zero. <clears throat> All right, so I see that he indeed is bigger than five. Thankfully, I learned my numbers when I was in kindergarten. And I know that he is bigger than five, so we're gonna add one more to this guy right here. Whoop. We're gonna just plus one. And now he's gonna become a 46, because that's one more. And everything else becomes a zero. Bam, so our new number is 46. 45 rounded to the nearest whole number is 46. 45.67 is closer to 46 than it is closer to 44. All right. Okay, we're gonna do one more here and this one is for my fifth grade folks, my fifth grade students that come up to these um, problems. And for my fifth graders, you're gonna see stuff that says round to the nearest tenth or hundredth. Now, I'm not talking about just a 10 or a 100. It's talking about a 10 with a TH, a TH, okay? So, first step, you need to identify where the 10th is at. All right, let's see. Let's find it. Here is the 10th right here. Remember, here is decimal man. Decimal man separates the whole numbers from the non-whole numbers. And this is the 10th place, and this is the 100th place with the th okay and then of course we got our ones huns here and then of course would be our tens and our hundos okay going this way and going this way is tenth tenth hundredth thousandth okay and if we're gonna round to the nearest tenth okay so find where the tenth is let's take a look Doo -doo -doo. bam there it is underline it all right now our step two draw an arrow to the neighbor on the right there he is. Now, let's see here. You guys know the drill. If it's five or more, let's add one more. If it's four or less, we'll let it rest. Uh, looks like seven is bigger than five. So let's go ahead and add one more to this next score right here. Plus one, whoop, perfect. Now, what's four plus one? You learned that when you were a baby as well. Five. So our new number is seven. Point five, and everything from here becomes a zero. 750, bam, there it is. All right, I'm gonna put up some. Now you tell me the answers. Are you ready? Boom, round to the nearest whole number. Round to the nearest whole number. <clears throat> 